Um, so that's pretty much phase vocoder. Uh, there is one thing which I find works quite nicely with this, uh, but I'd need to find an appropriate sound. Um, we're going to use Super Stage Air Sound, which sounds like this. So a paddy sound uh, works quite well, I think, for what I'm going to show you. So I'll drag that one into sound hack. Um, <coughs> I'll just get rid of the others because that's confusing. And because of this overlap thing in um, in Soundhack, along with the the longer bands, you can do some quite nice phasey stuff. Um, and to do that, uh, you can. So if I again, I'm using a scaling function. This time, I'm going to use my limits between 1.5 and 0 well, as close to 0 as it's going to go and in this case um, I'm going to extend the sound a little bit and then I'm going to over a very very short period of time assuming this lets me, it's a little bit it's not, not very easy to control this as you can see well, I'll smooth that out in a minute. I'm going to I'm going to drop drop very very dramatically from a longer kind of stretch to a compress, but still using quite long window lengths and quite a significant overlap because I'll change well, it's at two at the moment, but I'll change to four in a minute. Um, and then I'll do the same thing again. Oops. Well, I'm going to cheat. Just start down here. You can see pretty much what I'm doing. Anyway. I'm going to get cross in a minute. Okay, well you get the idea anyway. Let's, let's just do that one up to there again. And then down here. Oops. Super thing. Okay, uh, smooth that out and then you get, you can see roughly what's going on. So as I say, you're going to get a fairly dramatic drop from stretch to a compress. Done. Um, and then, as I say, I'll increase that to four times overlap and then process. Uh, T very two. And the result of that, hopefully, will be. I think that's quite nice. Um, what you can then do with that is you can kind of uh, stretch that quality, um, that that kind of that phasing quality. And basically, what's happening is lots of windows are getting jammed up on top of each other because you're compressing the sound. Um, so, uh, so that's that's something else you can do. And another thing is if you're using some more active sounds and you stretch them using these, uh, using a long window length, you get a kind of a sort of delay effect which works quite well. Um, so again, an, a few things worth exploring um, there.